Good evening, Wildcats. Welcome to the 2020 Night of Excellence. In these unprecedented times, we are missing you and sorry we couldn't be together in person. Even though we are apart, your hard work and accomplishments are to be celebrated. We are so proud of the class of 2020 and the amazing milestones you have reached in your four years at Wesley Chapel High School. I also want to take a moment to thank our faculty, staff, parents, and guardians who have supported you along your journey. Tonight, we will take the time to honor this amazing group of students. Class of 2020, you will not be forgotten. The class of 2020 is truly remarkable. Between bright futures, academic, and athletic scholarships, our seniors have been offered almost three and a half million dollars in scholarship awards. We'll begin tonight by celebrating several seniors who have been selected as recipients for our community scholarships and awards. Good morning, Wesley Chapel High School, Wildcat Class of 2020, faculty and family members. My name is Paul Bartell, this is my wife, Jamie, and our son, James. We are honored to be invited to your virtual awards ceremony to present our scholarship grants to your senior. Sean was quiet at home and reserved at school unless there was an opportunity to make someone else smile. His classmates said that he was fun to be around and he had helped them with their subjects. He never gave them the answers, but showed them how to get there. His teachers shared with us that when other students would take out their cell phones at the end of class, he would take out a textbook and tutor a friend in need. He got his angel wings on December 31st, 2014 at the young age of 16. Sean was fifth in his class at Western Chapel High School and had a 3.89 unweighted GPA and a 4.38 weighted GPA. Sean's goal was to attend Vanderbilt University in Tennessee after his graduation in 2016, studying biology and enjoying astronomy as a hobby. We have reviewed the many applications from this graduating class. Our foundation's motto is you can't change the past, but you can change the future. We have chosen the following outstanding student for our $1,000 scholarship grant award. Shelby Adler. Congratulations and best of luck for the entire Wesley Chapel High School graduating class of 2020. Go Wildcats. Congratulations, Shelby, on being chosen for this very special award. Hello, my name is Issa Perez. I'm with Platinum Homes Realty, and I'd like to thank you and the Bartell family for allowing me to be a part of this generous foundation, the Sean Bartell Memorial Foundation. This year, Platinum Homes Realty has partnered up with them and created three additional um, grants, the Platinum Scholarships which will be presented to three of this year graduating high school seniors. They will be receiving $500 each. And the winners for Wesley Chapel High School seniors are Thank you, Issa Perez and Platinum Homes Realty for providing these additional scholarships to our students. This year's winners are Bailey Baker, Pedro Fonseca, and Dereja Mundus. Hi, my name is Beth Reed, and I'm here representing the GFWC Pasco Junior Women's Club, which is a nonprofit organization located right here in Wesley Chapel. And our focus is on giving back to our community and beyond. And every single year we like to give scholarships to a couple of local seniors uh, to help them get started on their college journey. So I'm very excited to announce that this year two Wesley Chapel High School students, Paige Dosol and Ariel Pemberton, are the recipients of the GFWC Pasco Junior Women's Club Scholarships. Both of these young ladies have big goals in life and we are very excited to be able to be a tiny piece of their journey. Best of luck to you both in college, ladies, and I know you'll do great things. Thank you. Thank you, GFWC Pasco Junior Women's Club for your support. Congratulations again to Paige Dosal and Arielle Pemberton. 
Wesley Chapel High School would like to thank Withlacoochee River Electric Cooperative for their generous support of our senior class, and they ask that I pass a few words on to our winners. Withlacoochee River Electric Educational Foundation is a proud partner with education. We are pleased to announce that we have awarded a total of 2,084 scholarships that represent a potential value of $14.5 million since 1997. With Lacucci River Electric Cooperative, awarded 57 scholarships in Pasco County this year, valued at $627,000. Each scholarship recipient will be awarded $11,000 at $1,375 per semester over the next four years. We wish these students the best in their future endeavors. This year's recipients are Jayla Alfaro, Justo Carl Arzu, Madeline Corbin, Shayla Hobot, Seth Laney, Taylor McKinney, Gigi Palmer, Joanne Tranglu, and Ashlyn Walters. Congratulations. Hi. Each year, the Pasco Education Foundation assists graduating seniors in Pasco County's public schools, further their education at college, universities, and technical schools by offering scholarship opportunities. The foundation is proud to provide scholarships to deserving seniors and provide the financial means to the greatest gift on earth, education. This year, the Pasco Education Foundation will give out scholarships valued at nearly $220,000 to high school seniors. This would not be possible without the generous support of our scholarship donors, and we thank them for their generous contributions to help students fulfill their educational endeavors. More than 120 students from across the county have been selected as scholarship recipients. They were chosen because they demonstrated in their application their desire to continue their education and work hard to honor those who have invested in their future. On behalf of the Pasco Education Foundation Board of Directors, we wish each of you scholarship recipients all the best in your college, career, and life. We applaud all the scholarship recipients for your hard work and many, many achievements. Congratulations and all the best. Thank you again to Pasco Education Foundation for your generous support. This year's winners are John Gabriel Bonilla for the Biggest Heart Scholarship honoring Samantha Fries, Cameron Farquhar for the Boots and Roots Foundation, Taylor McKinney for the Boots and Roots Foundation, Nicholas Westcott for Omari's Restaurant Culinary Scholarship, Jesse Bunton for Rotary Club of Wesley Chapel Noon. Austin Pabone for Rotary Club of Wesley Chapel Noon. Crystal Prado Zapata for Rotary Club of Wesley Chapel Noon's 9-11 Memorial Scholarship. Zaria Wilson for Youth Leadership Pasco. Cameron Farquhar for Pasco County Farm Bureau. Hello, I'm Roseanne Heiser, Executive Director of Take Stock and Children, Pasco. Take Stock and Children began as part of the Pasco Education Foundation in 1997, with 24 recipients in the first graduating class of 2002. 23 years later, we have close to 1,000 scholars as part of this great organization that provides scholarships, mentors, and hope to our deserving students in Pasco County. 
Take Stock and Children PASCO scholars are part of a far bigger group statewide, numbering close to 34,000 across 67 counties within the state of Florida, with a strong presence in every one of Florida State's colleges and universities. Today, we celebrate our 27 Take Stock and Children Scholars Class of 2020. These scholars, most selected in the eighth grade, worked hard to get this reward, staying on track with their evaluation checklists, meeting with their mentors and coaches, attending college and career readiness workshops, many sponsored by Suncoast Credit Union, and more. This scholarship has to be earned, and our scholars know what that means. The values of their scholarships range, range from a minimum of 60 credit hours all the way to 120 credit hours at a state college or university. I'd like to thank the following donors for their generosity in providing this class of 2020 their scholarships. Chair Scholars Foundation, CPPI, Greater Pasco Chamber of Commerce, Michael and Tina Avedikian, the Rotary Club of Holiday, Tampa Bay Rays Helios Foundations, Wells Fargo, and Workforce. A very special acknowledgement goes to our Take Stock and Children mentors. These are true heroes in our community who help shape and mold these scholars through the years into fine young men and women, providing them the needed resources to guide them to this point in their, in their time, graduation, and beyond. Soon, we will be holding our own Take Stock and Children Awards ceremony. So for those who are in the Take Stock Nation, stay tuned. In the meantime, my congratulations to all of the award winners and what stories you will share as the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations to our Take Stock and Children graduate, Dennis Diocampo. Congratulations to Jason Mullins. He was one of 10 students in the state of Florida to be selected for the Grand Lodge of Florida Scholarship. We'd like to thank the Pasco Pediatric Foundation for their generous scholarship that will be awarded to three of our students. This scholarship is based on students who have overcome significant adversity, but will continue to be successful in life based on their positive attitude. And this year's winners are Veronica Colmenares, Susana Milanes, and Sarah Showalter. Congratulations, ladies. We would like to congratulate Jenna Thomas on being selected Juvenile Arbitration and Teen Courts East Pasco Volunteer of the Year. Congratulations, Jenna. And congratulations to Inoshka Diaz Quinones for being selected as Wesley Chapel High School's Turnaround Student of the Year. You have made important changes that will foster your future success, and we are so proud of you. Next, we would like to recognize our students' outstanding academic achievements over the past four years. These students have worked diligently throughout their high school career in order to achieve these high honors. Their dedication to excellence is truly remarkable. We are proud to present our Class of 2020 Valedictorian, Dalton Davis. Dalton will attend the University of Florida's Honors College to major in philosophy. He's a Florida academic scholar and received $25,000 in scholarship merit awards. Dalton also received a commended award from the National Merit Scholars Program, and he is graduating with his Associate of Arts degree from Pasco Hernando State College. We are proud to present our salutatorian, Chasen Mullins. Chase will attend the University of Central Florida's Burnett Honors College to major in finance. He is a Florida academic scholar and received $15,000 in scholarship merit awards.
We are proud to recognize Wesley Chapel High School's outstanding senior, Cameron Farquhar. Cameron will attend the University of Florida to major in agricultural education. She was recently named CTE Student of the Year for Pasco County, and Cameron is a Florida Academic Scholar. We would like to recognize a small group of students who will be graduating this year with not only their high school diploma, but also with their Associate of Arts two-year degree from Pasco Hernando State College. And those students are Shelby Adler, Anna Fox, Dalton Davis, Raja Gale, and Austin Pabone. Congratulations on your hard work. Congratulations to the class of 2020's top 10% students. These students have worked very hard over the past four years to earn this honor. Pasco Hernando State College is awarding all 36 students with a $1,300 scholarship per semester for the next two years. Thank you to our educational partners at PHSC for recognizing their hard work. And this year's top 10% are Kylie Acevedo, Shelby Adler, Jayla Alfaro, Dana Al Harby, Jordan Almacy, Bailey Baker, Sienna Bohannon, Jesse Bunton, Cole Clemens, Veronica Colmenares, Madeline Corbin, Edward Quau, Dalton Davis, Dana DeCastro, Lynn Din, Cameron Farquhar, Tiffany Farquhar, Ryan Farquhar, Anna Fox, Pedro Fonseca, Raja Gale, Isabella Jimenez, Gabrielle Jones, Noah Leonard, Sophia Magnagnoli, Taylor McKinney, Alan Morcus, Chasen Mullins, Dereja Mundus, Austin Pabone, Crystal Prado Zapata, Zamar Robbins, Ashlyn Walters, Armani Williams, and Zaria Wilson. Congratulations. The following students will graduate cum laude with a GPA of 3.2 to 3.79. Fatima Abisharia, William Ackerson, Zoe Artrip, Miguel Barnes, James Barnett, Maria Barros, Fiorella Barros Chiraboga, Maria Bedoya Gonzalez, Ashley Bischoff, John Gabriel Bonilla, William Boda, Dylan Brooks, Bradley Buchanan, Alexa Campbell, Giovanni Carrillo, Ayad Chahuri, Roman Cristaldi, Peyton Crawford, Ashley Crevier, Kaylee Crofton, Angela Curbello, Makai Denard, Paige Dosal, Caitlin Easterday, Sydney Ellerston, Jessica Fine, Caden Fox, Mariana Garcia Padilla, Tyson Jalot, Jaden Gonzalez, Kayla Grant, Tashari Gray, Alexander Grassi, Abigail Harper, Cynthia Harris, Lilith Harsh Sapares, Alexander Hayden, Vincent Haynes, Shayla Hobot, Genesis Iglesias, Corey Jafari, Austin Jones, Darquarian Jones, Alexandra Joyner, Dustin Kostialik, Thaddeus Kostialik, Cecil Lagula, Colt Lambden, Darian Lopez, Brendan Maddox, Charlize Marrero, Gadriel Marrero Colon, Fletcher Martin, Gabriel Matza, Celine McPherson, Maximilian Mead, Sophia Mejia, Ashley Mendez, Darian Mercedes, Kayla Nazario, Haley Uli, Megan Ortiz, Juliana Para Moreno, Shyam Patel, Ariel Pemberton, Evelyn Perez, Truckley Fan, Nicholas Politano,
Kayla Powell, Layla Qureshi, Ariel Ramdahal, Cameron Reeves, Destin Rogers, Haley Ruello, Matthew Santiago, Kyle Sheena, Blake Sedaris, Chrissy Ann Smith, Gabriella Tedesco, Varsha Thomas, Kylie Todd, Natalia Toledo Lucas, Tyler Townsend, Sydney Truberg, Zachary Valer, Daniela Vallejo, Joseph Vanderbliss, Christopher Vasquez, Amani Walker, Loyana Walters, Christina Wardlow, Nicholas Westcott, and Heaven Williams. The following students will graduate magna cum laude with a GPA of 3.8 to 4.19. Kylie Acevedo, Jayla Alfaro, Kayla Andrews, Bailey Baker, Alexis Barcom, Jesse Bunton, Dahlia Calvillo, Gabriela Cardenas, Frank Carlo, Cole Clemens, Veronica Colmenares, Madeline Corbin, Ryan Farquhar, Dana Hardin, Gabrielle Jones, Chancellor Joyer, Savannah Lee, Sophia Magagnoli, Kendall McKinney, Aubrey McLeod, Susana Milanes, Daraja Mundus, Gigi Palmer, Anna Patel, Jara Perez, Karina Persaud, Ari Samhuri, Sarah Showalter, Joanne Tranglu, Caroline Voy, Matthew Walford, Joseph Walsh, Ashlyn Walters, Abigail Wiley, Caitlin Yarbrough. These students are receiving our highest honor of summa cum laude with a 4.2 or above GPA. Congratulations, Shelby Adler, Dana L. Harby, Jordan L. Macy, Sienna Bohannon, Edward Quau, Dalton Davis, Dana DeCastro, Lynn Din, Cameron Farquhar, Tiffany Farquhar, Anna Fox, Pedro Fonseca, Raja Gale, Isabella Jimenez, Noah Leonard, Taylor McKinney, Alan Morcus, Chasen Mullins, Austin Pabone, Crystal Prado Zapata, Zamar Robbins, Armani Williams, and Zaria Wilson. Congratulations to everyone. Tonight we honor a few special students who have enlisted in the military. This commitment to serve our country for the next six years and beyond is certainly commendable and we thank them in advance for their future service. We wish you the best on this very important journey. Raymond Casey will be serving in the Army National Guard. Nathaniel Coleman will be serving in the United States Army. Nicholas Johnson will be serving in the United States Army. And Arquarian Jones will be serving in the United States Army. We would also like to give special recognition to Zaria Wilson. Zaria will attend the United States Air Force Academy, courtesy of nominations from the Honorable Gus Bilirakis and Senator Marco Rubio. Zaria will pursue a degree in astrophysics and she will graduate from the Air Force Academy as a commissioned officer. Good luck to Zaria. One of the highlights of our evening is the opportunity for our teachers to honor our seniors with outstanding student awards. These awards are decided by each department to recognize a student who has gone above and beyond in each subject area. We all have different strengths and interests and these unique awards allow our seniors to shine in so many different ways. Congratulations to our Class of 2020 Outstanding Seniors. The Fine Arts Senior of the Year is Chancellor Joyer. Chancellor has been outstanding as a part of the Art Department of Wesley Chapel High School. He is a member of the National Art Honor Society and holds the VP Officer position. 
Chancellor has also been accepted to various art colleges, including Parsons, RISD, and Ringling, as well as winning several county art contests over the past few years. Let's congratulate him on a job well done. The Agriculture Senior of the Year is Cameron Farquhar. She has served as the FFA president for two years. She has participated in multiple competitions in both leadership development events as well as career development events. She served as an ambassador for the Florida State Fair and showed three animals this year. Our Agriculture Senior of the Year, we congratulate. The outstanding student in the field of automotive is Matthew Walford. Matthew has been someone that has become extremely valuable to the Academy this past year. He is always willing to take over difficult tasks and will stay late after school to finish a vehicle. He has shown dedication to the program and helping to teach other students what he knows. He is always fun to be around and all of his classmates enjoy him in the shop. The Automotive Academy is certain that he will be very successful in whatever he chooses to do in life. Congratulations, Matthew. The Chemistry Outstanding Student of the Year is Zaria Wilson. Zaria took AP Chemistry as a junior and performed at a very high level. She will always put in extra work to whatever she is doing and always had one of the highest grades in the class. Congratulations, Zaria. This year's Dance Student of the Year is Dana Hardin. Dana has a wonderful attitude, impeccable attendance, and works extremely hard every day. She is a true role model to her peers, and this is evident by the way she is prepared mentally and physically, accepts corrections, and has a true respect and passion for dance. She will be missed by everyone in the department. Zyla Marion is Drama's Outstanding Senior. Over four years, Zyla Marion has done it all. Two years of tech theater, playwriting, acting class, acting on stage, working hard behind the scenes, leading her own crew, and earning a superior as a thespian. She is kind, helpful, dedicated, supportive, talented, and extraordinarily reliable. While she never sought the spotlight herself, she made everyone else around her better. We will miss you, Zyla. Evelyn Perez is the English Outstanding Senior. She's astounded her teachers with her literary and compositional precipients during both ENC 1101 and 1102. She is a wonderful human being and everyone adores her. Congratulations, Evelyn. Scott McAllister is the French Outstanding Senior. Scott has really taken his language learning to a high level, pushed himself to learn above and beyond on his own. He knocked this year of French 3 out of the park with creativity and style. Your teachers are really proud of all that you have accomplished. Emma Hull is the Journalism Student of the Year. Over the past three years, Emma has worked to improve her photography and writing skills. She is a valuable member of the yearbook team. She took steps when she needed, and she faced challenges with courage and determination. Congratulations, Emma. This year's award for Outstanding Senior in Life Science goes to Isabella Jimenez. She is a student who has excelled in science classes all throughout her high school career. She started out a star student in biology honors as a freshman. She showed a keen interest in anatomy and physiology honors and was a leader in the class. This year in AP Biology, she consistently demonstrated excellence through her test scores and lab participation. She has shown a great understanding and appreciation of the natural world. Congratulations, Bella. The Mathematics Student of the Year is Chase Mullins. Chase has been chosen to receive the math award for his outstanding performance in two AP math classes. He was the top student in his AP statistics class and has maintained a high A average all year in AP calculus. He consistently scores in the high 90s or even 100. He grasps every concept and is willing to help those around him.
Megan Herndon is the Music Outstanding Senior. Megan is involved in nearly every facet of the WCHS Band and Color Guard. She has been regularly selected for participation in the USF Festival of Winds Honor Band, has been selected for both all-county and all-state ensembles, and was a member of the championship-winning WCHS Winter Guard. As a leader, Megan has served as a section leader for the WCHS Wildcat Marching Band and was drum major for her senior season. She's also the recipient of the 2019-20 John Philip Sousa Band Award, which is the highest honor a band student can receive for their given school. Cole Clemens is the PAC Leader Outstanding Senior. Cole is the hardest working peer we've ever had in the Media Center. He is responsible, respectful, and also is there to lend a helping hand. Cole interacted with students and staff in a very professional way. We could trust him without any hesitation. Cole, you will be missed. The Physical Education Outstanding Senior is Joseph Walsh. Joe always has a smile on his face. He is always willing and ready to help others in class and on his team. He pushes himself to achieve his goals and better himself. He, invol he volunteers with our exceptional education students and is an all-around great kid. Congrats to Joe. The Physical Science Senior of the Year is Pedro Fonseca. Pedro took AP Chemistry as a junior and AP Physics 1 as a senior. He has been the strongest senior in the class this year. He works hard and also has an innate ability in physics and chemistry. The Physics Outstanding Senior is Matthew Walford. Matthew took Physics Honors as a sophomore, AP Physics 1 and 2 as a junior, and AP Physics C as a senior. He is very gifted in math and science and will do amazingly in his pursuit of a career in engineering. Bethany Lowe is the Reading Outstanding Senior. Bethany, you are being recognized for all of your hard work that you put in during your studying times. The first time your teacher met you, you were so nervous about the content to be studied. But by the end, you became very confident about how to approach that content. Your teacher is very happy that you never gave up and pushed through any obstacles that stood in your way. Congratulations for all of your hard work. Jayla Alfaro is the Spanish Outstanding Senior. Jayla, you are simply amazing. You do everything with a great attitude and you've improved on your already strong Spanish skills throughout high school. Congratulations and good luck. Taylor McKinney is the Outstanding Senior for Social Science. Taylor is a student that shows passion and dedication for everything she pursues both in and out of the classroom. Taylor consistently exceeded her teacher's expectations in advanced level social studies courses, and they have seen her grow into a strong, confident young lady who was a thoughtful participant in class discussions and was always willing to help others. Taylor's positive attitude, tenacity, and leadership exemplify what it means to be a contributing member of the WCHS community and it will take her far as she furthers her education and career pursuits. Congrats to Taylor. We are so proud of all you've accomplished here at WCHS. Bradley Buchanan is the TV Production Senior of the Year. Four years ago, a quiet freshman came into the TV production room and started to create some of the most entertaining videos this program has ever seen. He has grown into an incredibly reliable, ambitious, and professional young man. As senior producer of the WCAT News, Bradley Buchanan has gained the respect of his peers. He is capable of all aspects of production, from the technological side to all things creative. He is an incredible cinematographer. His calm, relaxed, chill personality has helped in many situations. Bradley has left an impact on this program and will truly be missed. 
Nicholas Politano is the WCAT News Senior of the Year. Nick has been involved in this program for more than just his four years of high school. First appearing as an extra in his older brother's short films, it was evident that this guy belongs on the screen. This year, Nick anchored the news and created many news features that were shared with the school. His love of sports and dedication to academics is obvious in all he does. Nick is the person who is always up for a challenge and finishes everything he does to perfection. It will be fun to watch his life unfold, and we feel lucky that his start was with the WCAT News. Bailey Baker was chosen by faculty and staff to receive the Perseverance Award. Bailey is committed to academic excellence in spite of any obstacles she may encounter. Bailey does everything with a positive attitude and a willingness to succeed. Congratulations, Bailey. The CATS Award represents our WCHS motto, cooperative, attentive, timely, and successful. Sarah Showalter was selected by faculty and staff to receive this award. Sarah shows true grit and determination. She completes everything to the best of her ability shows work ethic, leadership, and positivity in all she does. Congratulations, Sarah, on all you have accomplished. One of our treasured graduation traditions is to present cords and stoles to our senior class. These special distinguishments are earned by students who have served in Wesley Chapel High School clubs, organizations, and honor societies during their high school career. The cords represent more than just participation. They ultimately represent what makes Wesley Chapel High School a strong school community. AP Capstone recognizes Madeline Corbin, Susanna Milanes, Chase Mullins, Zaria Wilson, Pedro Fonseca, Aubrey Ennis Elliott, Cole Clemens, Lynn Din, Isabella Jimenez, Taiji Maglan, and Zamar Robbins. The Academy of Digital Video Production recognizes Senior Producer Bradley Buchanan, Senior Director Nicholas Politano, and Senior Director Thaddeus Kostialik. In addition, they recognize David Acevedo, Maria Bedoya, Roman Cristaldi, Nathaniel Coleman, Brandon Kinney, Eva Miguel, and Jackson Summers. The Academy of Automotive Technology recognizes Nathan Baker, Dylan Brooks, Frank Carlo, Liam Collis, Eric Gully, James Lemon, Jeffrey Mayer, Killian McCarty, Joseph Medina, Stephen Myra, Matthew Walford, and Joseph Vanderfliss. Best Buddies would like to recognize Kylie Acevedo, Yelani Claudio, Carla Laporte, Paige Dosal, Ali Fraley, Victoria Livingstone, Nicholas Grassi, Benjamin Walters, Corey Garzone, Robert Cortez, Shelby Jambutis, Paul Kimball, Clarita Lee, Xavier Cox, Paul DeSardin, Phoebe Ennering, Vincent Haynes, Antonio Marchese, Gadriel Marrero Colon, Ashley Mendez, Christopher Vasquez, Marco Rodriguez, Angel Bent, and Octavia Frost. FFA would like to recognize the following students that will be receiving officer medallions. Cameron Farquhar, Kendall McKinney, Taylor McKinney, Jessica Fine, Tiffany Farquhar, and Ashley Bischoff. FFA would like to recognize 
these active members that applied for and received either a Greenhand chapter or state degree. Ashley Bischoff, Novali Dries, Delena De La Garza, Ryan Farquhar, Cameron Farquhar, Tiffany Farquhar, Jessica Fine, Kaylee Glasgow, Abigail Harper, Cynthia Harris, Caitlin Hill, Kendall McKinney, Taylor McKinney, Sarah Showalter, Jenna Thomas, and Jessica Williamson. Interact Club would like to recognize the following seniors, Zaria Wilson and Cheyenne Patel. The National Art Honor Society recognizes Caitlin Easterday, Cheyenne Patel, Sydney Truberg, Maria Bedoya, Bailey Baker, Arielle Pemberton, Abigail Wiley, Braden Smith, Jara Perez, Chancellor Joyer, Sydney Ellerston, and Roman Cristaldi. The Sigma Lambda chapter of the National English Honor Society recognizes Jordan Almacy, Cole Clemens, Edward Quau, Dana DeCastro, Paige Dosal, Cameron Farquhar, Tiffany Farquhar, Ryan Farquhar, Kendall McKinney, Taylor McKinney, Susana Milanes, Chasen Mullins, Crystal Prado Zapata, Sarah Showalter, and Zaria Wilson. National Honor Society would like to recognize their officers, Chasen Mullins, President, Zaria Wilson, Vice President, Dina DeCastro, Secretary, Isabella Jimenez, Treasurer, and Taylor McKinney, Historian. National Honor Society would like to recognize the following seniors who will be receiving navy and gold cords and white stoles. Jayla Alfaro, Maria Bedoya Gonzalez, Ashley Bischoff, Edward Quau, Paige Dosal, Cameron Farquhar, Ryan Farquhar, Tiffany Farquhar, Pedro Fonseca, Raja Gale, Alexander Grassi, Shayla Hobot, Charlize Marrero, Kendall McKinney, Susana Milanes, Nicholas Politano, Crystal Prado Zapata, Zamar Robbins, Sarah Showalter, Natalia Toledo Lucas, Joseph Walsh, and Abigail Wiley. The following students will receive navy and gold cords. Madeline Corbin, Cecil Lagula, Savannah Lee, and Noah Leonard. The National Society of Dance Arts would like to recognize Jayla Alfaro, Jordan Austin, Raymond Casey, Isaiah Cole, Dana Hardin, Shayla Hobot, Gabriel Matza, Celine McPherson, and Kayla Nazario. The National Spanish Honor Society would like to recognize President Jayla Alfaro, Fiorella Barros Chiribaga, Ashley Crevier, Edward Quau, Ayad Chauhuri, Cole Clemens, Vice President, Cameron Farquhar, Shayla Hobot, Noah Leonard, Taylor McKinney, Susana Milanes, Zamar Robbins, Natalia Toledo Lucas, and Secretary Zaria Wilson. The National Technical Honor Society recognizes Maria Bedoya, Ashley Bischoff, Bradley Buchanan, Roman Cristaldi, Cameron Farquhar, Ryan Farquhar, Tiffany Farquhar, Jessica Fine, Abigail Harper, Kendall McKinney, Taylor McKinney, Nicholas Politano, and Sarah Showalter. Student Government Association would like 
to recognize their class of 2020 officers, Abigail Wiley, President, Savannah Lee, Vice President, Dana DeCastro, Secretary, Edward Quau, Treasurer, Zaria Wilson, Senator, and their Executive Council, Matthew Walford, President, Crystal Prado Zapata, Vice President, and Cameron Farquhar, Secretary. Teen Court would like to recognize the following seniors for their service. Dahlia Calvillo, Olivia Davis, Gianni Rivas Fournier, Ari Samhori, Jenna Thomas, Natalia Toledo Lucas, and Caitlin Yarbrough. Thespians would like to recognize Abigail Harper, Alexander Grassi, Alexandra Joyner, Angelina Anglero, Austin Jones, Aubrey Ennis Elliott, Jenna Thomas, Catherine Munger, Layla Koreshi, Madeline Corbin, Max Mead, Nash Fernandez, Nate Baker, Shana Pinos, Sophia Magnagnoli, Victoria Berman, Trinity Garcia, Zoe Artrip, and Zyla Marion. The Tri Music Honor Society recognizes Jacob Clark, Pedro Fonseca, Alex Grossi, Megan Herndon, Corey Jafari, Dustin Kostialik, Cassidy Kostialik, Thaddeus Kostialik, Benjamin Mendez, Blaine Miller, Anna Patel, Caroline Vo, Nicholas Westcott, and Zaria Wilson. Yearbook would like to recognize Jessica Fine, Emma Hull, Austin Jones, and Brendan Maddox for two or more years of service, and Tashari Gray, Crystal Prado Zapata, and Loyana Walters for one year of service. Class of 2020, you are exceptional. Whether it is academics, extracurriculars, or athletics, your talents are obvious. With all you've already accomplished, we know this is only the beginning of the amazing things life has in store for you. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We are so proud of you.